Hello there, it's Grace Field. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about homeschooling. It's homeschool chit chat check in. So go ahead and grab your tea or go ahead and grab your cup of water and let's find out what's going over here with the Hawkins. So I apologize that I've been gone for so long with these. Um, I realized I have not done one of these in almost three months. So I decided I would just kind of jump back in and kind of talk about where we were and kind of catch you up until now. Okay, so I don't think I posted one for November and for December. And so for those months was just really a relaxed um, time for us. We did a lot of baking. We did a lot of crafts. We did a lot of spending time together. We did a lot of games. We had visitors. Um, we just really enjoyed family and being together. So those were some really beautiful and special times and moments for us. Okay, so I think my daughter wanted to say hi. Hi. Anything else you want to say? Hi. I like crafts and I like butterflies too. I like a lot of science and a lot of things too. And I have a lot of toys. Okay. I can share my toys with some little girls that don't have toys. That's really sweet. Okay. So, let's get to the nitty gritty. I have been faithful with the weekly homeschool cleanings. Um, we have actually finished How Great Is Our God, the devotional that we typically go over. So we're reading again because why not? You know, the more that you read something, the more that you do it, the better it just is for everyone. And when you're reading through it, it's like, oh yeah, I remember that. I know that. So this is probably like our fourth time. We've read through this a lot, but again, it's just so good. I honestly, I thought about like, okay, Chrissy, let's get something else. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to continue to use that because I think that it's really, really great. Um, epic books. We've been doing a lot of epic books. And I've noticed that we've been doing a little bit less of our read-alouds. February will change that. We'll go back to more um, read-alouds. But for um, January, December... November especially, we've done a lot of epic books. And so that's really um, great. Also, we have done a lot with this 500 questions game book and um, these create a story cards. You guys have seen, you know, multiple tours and different things. I have probably like 10 different ones of these, different varieties, versions, grade levels, etc. But the kids really enjoy getting together and doing this. And I, of course, I'm all for it. I love that. That makes me so happy. Something that we haven't been doing as much is our ABC affirmation cards. I only grabbed the girl ones, but I actually have the girl and the guy set. And I've noticed that we haven't been touching these as much. So I did make a note for February to make sure that um, we are also touching these um, cards. Okay. Another thing is, you know, now that it's winter... We just moved slower. Like, I moved slower as a mama. Let's just be real with it. So, um, I have these filling cards. It's deal with fillings. And it's really simple. It's how do you feel when you look in the mirror? And what do you, excuse me, when do you feel secure? I'm looking at these upside down. And what makes you feel in one? So, we're just going through these filling stacks. Um, it's not like, oh, let's do the whole stack. But even if it's like one per child um two or three per day however it pans out just um our feelings are very important and it's important for you to understand and recognize how you feel and why you feel the way you feel it's so important for not just children but for adults as well so that is something else that we're continuing to um to do and to take with us from um for the month of february okay board games we play tons and 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 tons of board games. Every time someone came over to visit, we played not Monopoly. We played Millionaire Monopoly. We played Yahtzee. We played Sudoku. We and you guys know we have like a whole game shelf area. We've got a lot of games. 
<laughs> so we have just played a ton of games and I'm really happy about that because one, that's what I have them for. And I was like, listen, if we're not gonna play with these games, I'm getting rid of them because it's just taking up space and I don't want that. But two, it has drastically decreased the TV and the game time and that makes my mama heart so happy. Okay, I already said it, but lots and lots of baking as well. Like we've done muffins and pies and cakes and like savory dishes and dinner dishes. The boys had a really cool um, noodle like cook off where they were like so creative and created their own stuff and pumpkins like making everything it's been so amazing like seriously um i have been doing a lot more one-on-one -on -one with the kids so i'm kind of changing my schedule some and i haven't really shared it yet and, and maybe i will later but i want to do it longer and make sure it's working for us because to each their own and what works for one is not going to work for the other and what worked when I had less kids is not working now that I have more kids. And even if it was the same amount of kids, these kids are different. I added a new kid to the mix, which was Kalani teaching her kindergarten. Everybody has to, such a different learning style, such a different personality. These are high energy kids. <laughs> but seriously, that's why I have the rocking board in here because these people have so much energy. Why can't they get that energy to me? Because I need all the energy I could get. Okay. So I found that doing group studies for certain things was a way for some of my kids to kind of like cut back a little bit and it was a way for others to show off a little bit and they both have their place. So I've been just doing things a little bit um, differently but the most important thing I think I've been doing is more of a slow homeschooling, just allowing myself to rest, allowing myself to you know, I'm typically up at five o'clock, I'm boom, boom, but I'm that, you know, there are people always like, yeah, I don't want to be structured and stri yeah, you don't want to watch me because I'm that mama, I'm like kind of, I'm more like boom, 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 I'm like, let's do this, let's do this, and I know what I want to do, I don't know what I need to do, I know that there needs to be structure to the home, I know there needs to be structure to the schedule, I know there needs to be rules and boundaries because if not, there's chaos, and in this world that we live in, there will be rules and boundaries. For your child and so I think that it is a good idea to let them get that um, early while keeping the wonder of childhood alive it's, it's a whole thing all right let's talk about some issues that I've been having so I've kind of already said it but it's been hard to wake up at five o'clock um, and start school at our normal eight o'clock time um so I just found that I was starting um, to be tired during the daytime and I typically don't drink coffee. I, I make it for my husband but I don't drink it and I, I didn't want to become this person who's like dependent on coffee to just make it through the day. So I decided that I would sleep in a little bit longer and then I would just kind of work with that. And so that's just what I've been doing. I've been sleeping in a little bit longer and just allowing myself the grace that I need for this season, this winter season. Um, when it's really dark out and it's really cold, um, we've have we've had snow for for a while now. Um, so that's just what's working for me um, right now. Or you can see an issue I had that I'm trying to rectify. Another thing is being very raw and transparent. My cats are bothering me. Like my children love, 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 love them. They would keep every single one. In fact, they would have kept every single one we've ever had. And me, on the other hand, it's too much. It's like, oh my goodness. Like, their their food, their water, like their play place, their little, everything's back here in the homeschool room. And so, for me, someone who has issues with visual clutter, someone who has issues with smell, like, some days I'm like, oh no. Like, let's get this stuff cleaned up now. It's just harder for me um to function and i just realized that i haven't been wanting to come in here as much and so i've been doing a lot of lessons at the dining room table it's really wrong and the last um kind of issue i've had so waking up early the kitty in the homeschool room i think the third one was really the kids not putting their books back like um if you don't i know some of you only follow these homeschool specific videos um but 
I typically do like a weekend reset on Sunday, Monday, where I reset the homeschool room, um, just kind of reset the house for the week. And then on Fridays, I do a Sabbath prep where I am doing like a, a clean of the home, preparing my home for just a time of rest. So I prepare so I can rest and do nothing, then I can catch up and keep on with the week. It's kind of how it goes. And so you'll see like there's always, and honestly, it's me too, but um, specifically for the library books that's behind me, you know, in this library, they come and take them, but they don't put them back. And so that's just been an issue of mine. I know it's probably silly. It's like you should be happy they're reading books. I'm just being honest though. So these are my issues. So I've kind of done a recap of the month, the months, kind of talk about my issues. Now let's talk about the individual children and then we'll talk about my goals for February. So individually, um, let's start with Aaron. You guys probably know him as Papa. He is such a fun kid and like he loves school and like he's so on top of everything all the time. He's really cool. He's like boom, 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 boom. He's like beatboxing and like, you know, I'm not the beatboxer. He's the beatboxer, but he's like, you know, I'm like, okay, all right, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but he doesn't miss a beat literally with the beats or <laughs> with his schoolwork. And he's like, three, two, you know, he's like guessing all these numbers. And I'm like, because he's right. Like, he's right <laughs> and fast with it. So um, he's really cool. Um, he's really a joy. And they're all a joy. Um, Kalani, she loves math. But let me tell you, I'm getting ready to do this review for um, Evan Moore. She loves his science. And I mean, girl is doing a thing and doing it well. I'm like, oh, let me find out. Like, I just could not believe how she hangs with him. And like, she does every single lesson with him and she has the answers, okay? So girl likes science. I was like, okay, that's really cool. Um, so now I'm getting ready to really focus with her on her reading skills. Um, she did start um, fifth grade this year officially, but you guys know I do believe in delayed academics to give the children enough time um, Not just to play and things but to really be ready and so I, I remember I'm gonna stop for a second here. I remember um, When I first gave her her math She was like doing okay with it, but she was like, oh, can I take a break or something like that and um, I noticed that once I um gave her a little bit of time like a little bit of a break in there like a month or so i came back and girl was like boom and she's been boom ever since and so i i personally think if a child is not getting something or they're not interested like oh i'm tired kind of decrease that for a little while and then add it back in and see if they're ready most of the time they are ready and be careful because every now and then you have some foot jokers <laughs> and they just try to get away with that do any work Oh my gosh girl did you hear she called the kid a slick joker I did, I did. and you got a slick joker too probably <laughs> okay moving along <laughs> so the next kid we're gonna talk about is Elisha hmm. this is my nature this is my war dog this is my um, beautiful child he truly marches to the beat of his own drums and he has a hard time focusing sometimes and that makes life a little more challenging for this mama if I'm being honest but he loves to devour books he loves books especially his he has this history obsession he is a history fanatic like he picked up Story of the World, I think it was the second volume, which by the way, we're not supposed to read until next year, but he saw it on my uh, material homeschool bookshelf and he was intrigued by it. And I think he's like halfway done in like one day or two days. So then, okay, there we go. <laughs> so we're just rolling with it. Um, Rakeem, he knows his strengths and his weaknesses. He's giving more like 100% now <laughs> and I think the incentives are really helping him and um, he is a phenomenal Boy Scout. 
my oldest is not homeschooled this year my oldest goes to public school but let me tell you he is doing amazing he um, over half his classes are honor classes and he's still thriving in his honors classes he's a freshman so I am really proud of him um, so if you're worried about how your child to do if they never need to transition I personally would say you're probably gonna be okay because I was worried about it when he transitioned and he was actually ahead of his class and I think all the hard work paid off because now again he's in all honors classes or I think all except one or two and he's making A's and B's and he did he did tell me it was like ma so I was homeschooled harder than public school <laughs> It's like you you had me working so much more harder well it prepared you <laughs> so that is like a quick recap of the kids themselves um as far as mama i'm good like you guys know like i get my self-care time in there i take care of me you guys know i'm up and dressed every day you know i have my dresses on um i get my water right now i am working on losing a little bit of weight so I'm working on that um, and if you haven't already figured it out I do have a ladies of grace um, free community um, I don't want to say subscription but I would just say like a community here and um, I have monthly challenges and so you can join in and, and just kind of read the book of the month um, see what the goals are for the month and then we have a monthly live so if you didn't know that now you know keep a lookout for it a new book is right about to come up and the live is actually about to come up too now let's talk about the month of February so for February no more slacking on spelling okay it's my fault but man the kids were really struggling with spelling and I'm like you know what let's take a break and then we'll come back to it so pretty much we've been doing everything else, but that spelling, that spelling has been the bane of our existence. <laughs> okay, so focusing on my reading to Kalani, um, her brothers read to her daily. Um, I know yesterday her one brother, he spent his um, sibling reading time with her. and I think he got to read six books with her. So everybody kind of does sibling reading time with each other all around. But me personally as a mama, I don't feel like I get to read with her as much as I would like to. And I think a part of that is because we do um, crafts together, we bake together, we cook together, we do other things together. But that reading to her is a memory that I want her to have. So that's something that I have to work on. So spelling, reading to my girl. Um, oh. The hardest one staying off my phone during school time yes so what I've actually been doing is um, limiting the day in the life videos so I won't be tempted to have my phone and then what I've been doing is honestly just turning the phone off and having it in another room that way I'm not distracted by text messages or calls or tempted to check anything and I think that's a really that's another reason I've been off Instagram for a few months now posting actively it's just that um, I really want to focus on what's important and in front of me and what I have right now like my oldest like I said he's in ninth grade and I remember just having him and you know they only have a few more years left with him and so that realization that even my baby I just had her <laughs> No, she's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm really like really having a moment here. But but so the time passes and the time goes and so it's really so important to honor that time and it's like will I care? Okay? In in 5 years, who was commenting what? Who was posting and tagging what what someone was sharing like will I care about that? Will I care about this precious time with my kids? I don't want it to sound bad, but I'm just saying, like, to really be cautious, really guard my time, really guard my heart in that regard, so that I can focus on the gifts that I have been given, which are my kids. The next one is my vitamins daily, um, and our vitamins daily. And I will say we pretty much get our vitamins five days a week. 
but there's like another one five to six days a week we take our vitamins but we're missing like a day or two in there and so I just wrote it down because you know that's what you do you write down you assess with things what have I like dropped the ball or like what am I slacking even if it's just like one day like is that really slacking yes no so it's like what is it that and let's write that down so that's the vitamin portion and the last thing for February is I want to keep getting the clothes and work out the night before. So that is something that's really helped me um, in homeschooling is I have the kids and I'll do another video, maybe like before homeschool, after homeschool. Um, I know I've been promising you guys a chores um, and discipline system. So I'll get all those things done. Um, I think the month of February, I think that's a perfect month to get all that. So look for those videos the month of February. Um, but yeah, getting the clothes out the night before, getting their baths the night before, and um, having their books out the night before just helps um, make a smoother transition for that morning that we can just get everything done because we do have a lot to get done in the morning. We have the cats to take care of. We have the chickens outside that we need to take care of. And, um, you know, they have their chores, you know, they need to vacuum and get their rooms clean. And, and then there's so many people using the bathroom. So, um, and then we have some kids that want to like land the bed to the last minute. We got some that's up early with the chicken. So we just have all kinds of personalities and all types. And I'm thankful for it all. And I'm sorry to make this video super chatty and long. But I just wanted to spend time with you guys. And share with you guys what's been going on over here in the homeschool. Hopefully I'll be back and able to continue to be consistent in this area. I'm very consistent in my YouTube videos. But I'm not. Uh, I don't have a, because I have a schedule, I don't have a homeschool schedule. And so I am working on that now. I'm thinking that I can maybe dedicate Tuesdays to all things homeschool that you know, every Tuesday I have a homeschool video because maybe not everybody cares about like the Sabbath prep and maybe not everybody cares about the clean with me's and getting um, like resetting your home for Monday. Um, so I think I'm going to have a day just for homeschool. But if you don't know already, I have 800 videos. <laughs> Shocked myself with that number. So there's something for everyone. Um, if you check out the playlist, there is something for everyone. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe so that you don't miss another video. And until the next video, I always say you can do with a lot with a little. And let me get those rowdy loud kids. Blessings. <laughs>